Although answering the telephone all day can prove very tiresome, it remains a job of considerable importance. This switchboard operator works in the complaints department and she's the main contact with dissatisfied customers. She must first try to calm them down and then assess how serious the situation is. There's no point bothering a manager for a minor problem. Today, the operator has a very irate client on the phone, who finally hangs up on her. She informs her superior of what has just happened. He calls the customer back himself to try and find some concrete solutions for a network problem that's lasted a week. The customer threatens to cancel his orders and angrier than ever, he hangs up again. This time, the problem is serious. Not only must the fault be repaired, but the customer's confidence must be regained. The technical support staff will have to intervene rapidly. A special meeting is organized. The technical director explains the situation and sets out the measures to be taken. The source of the error has to be found by the end of the day and it must be repaired by the end of the week, even if that means working round the clock. The stakes are very high. Losing such large orders would cost the company a huge amount. And that's not counting the bad publicity. It turns out to be a faulty cable. All the technicians set about finding it. But it's not that easy, because it's under the floorboards. Once the cable's located, the faulty wires still have to be found. Everything will soon be back to normal. In the meantime, a sales representative tries to pacify the customer by telling him that the situation will be sorted out as soon as possible, but that a last-minute problem might still crop up. Satellites, for example, sometimes break down, causing enormous problems for both user and installer. When this happens, everyone's in the same boat. Sometimes the problems are due to slight mishaps. A cup of coffee spilt near a plug can cause a short circuit. Two days later, the managing director receives a telephone call from the customer in question. He's satisfied that everything is working properly. He apologizes for losing his temper so quickly and admits that the technical support staff has done a lot of work. Finally, he guarantees that the orders still stand. All's well that ends well.